hey y'all welcome to my channel my name is rochelle and i am back with a long overdue video as you can see from the title i'll be switching out the frontal on one of my wigs from my company the wig that i'll be using is a 30 inch wig with a 32 inch bundle added i've only been wearing this wig for about four to five months but i just love the way a new frontal looks so that's what we'll be doing today and if you stick around, I'll also be giving you guys a tutorial on a flexi rod method to get some nice wand curls. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the rest of the video. So I already have on my cap and right now I'm just cutting out my ear holes so I can mold the cap down. Then I'm just going in with my got to be spray. And then I blow dried it off camera and I'm just going to cut off the excess stocking cap. Okay, so this is what the inside of the wig looks like. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the frontal. And as you can see, I'm just cutting as close to the wig as possible. And anything that's hard or feels bulky, I'm going to cut off um, so that it's a seamless feel to um like when i do sew the new frontal on and this is what you're gonna get once you're done it's gonna be like a half of a wig now you're gonna take the back of the wig and secure it on a mannequin head directly in the center you want to make sure everything is lined up properly because it will matter when you go to put the frontal on so you're gonna take the frontal and line it up directly against the wig and when you go to secure your um, frontal with the t-pins just make sure that you're pulling on it tight so that everything is flat and seamless when you go to sew on the frontal now that everything is properly lined up and secure i'm going to be using nylon thread for this um, i don't usually use that for a full sewing but i think for this it's perfect because it's super thin now i didn't get it for some reason but i did start that first thread at the back of the frontal so that the initial knot isn't on the top um but as you can see i'm just gonna go ahead and loop the thread through the frontal and the wig um, from the top of it and i'm not going to be doing any knots or any extra things like you know to secure it like you would a normal sewing i'm literally just going around and around and you would just do that all the way across and y'all pay no mind to my ashy hands i washed the frontal after bleaching the knots and it doesn't like i've been working hard and then i got that blister sore from like burning myself with the curling iron but yeah anyways this is what you're gonna get once you're done everything should be flat and seamless and your wig should be ready for install so i'm just going in with some skin tone foundation and i do use lace tint but i always go in with the foundation first just because i feel like um sometimes it sticks better but here i'm just spraying the got to be wax spray right before I go in with my hot comb just to smooth everything out before I um, go ahead and fit the wig and again both the wig and the replacement frontal are both from my company so I will be leaving the link to the original wig and my transparent lace frontals in the description below but as you can see that lace is super thin and transparent and the hair looks really healthy and I still have to comb out the hair from when I plucked the frontal. So it's a little frizzy, but it's already looking really good. And right now I'm just tugging on it just to see how it's gonna fit and make sure everything is gonna lay flat when I do go to install it. If not, that's how you get those little bubbles in the front, you know, when it bunches up. So you just wanna make sure everything is going to lay flat. And I'm still gonna go in and customize that hairline a little bit. But so far, this is what I have after I cut the ear, ear tabs out. So now that the wig is fitted, before I install it, I'm actually going to show you guys the flexi wrap method that I use. 
I wanted some Hollywood glam curls so instead of using a hand curler I'm going to be using the flexi rods because it's easier on my arms and I feel like it might help someone at home to get the same look without the curling iron because I know that could be a hassle when it's time to recurl um, your hair as a client. And I've done this method on my head many times. Um, I'm just doing it on a mannequin for content sake um, because it's going to go a little quicker if I put the wig in the dryer. But right now I'm just sectioning it off into two because each side will have its own direction of the way that you're going to spin your curls. And then I'm just parting it off into a couple of more little sections. So now you're going to take the first piece. It doesn't have to be too small. You actually want it a little um, thicker so that the curl isn't too tight. So right now, I just took the hair and I'm spinning it on the outside. But as you can see, I'm rotating. I'm turning. Every time that the hair wraps around, I'm rolling the hair. So it should look like a spiral curl pretty much. And if you look at my right thumb it's holding down the top piece so that is how everything is going to stay together and tight then i'm just turning it the way that i want it to fall i put a little mousse there to hold the ends so it doesn't come apart Then i'm just going to fold the rod into each other So yeah, basically with these, you just want to make sure everything is uniform and that you're combing all the hair out. The spray that I just use is just a soft holding spray. So again, you see I just put the hair on the outside of the roller. So you want to be coming on the outside of the front of the wig. And you're rolling, rolling tight, everything tight. And I'm holding that top top of the curl and ignore that ugly spool. Mousse. I rolled it a little tighter. And I'm folding it into each other. And just like that, that's how you're gonna do the whole head. So this whole side you're gonna roll one way and then the other side you're gonna roll the other way. And this is the other side. I sped it up, but it's the same concept. And as you can see, don't forget that thumb because if not, everything is gonna be far apart and your curls are not gonna be tight and uniform. This is the only way to ensure that everything is uniform. And one more time, slow down for this side. Boom, just like that. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm just going to take this off. And the reason why I didn't roll the front is because I'm going to roll that after I install it because I'm going to need to do my parting and be able to manipulate the baby hairs. And I just need the hair loose. So I'm just going to do that part after. So after sitting this in here for about 45 minutes, we're going to go ahead and apply the wig. And I'll do a full install video soon. But right now, I'm just going to breathe right through it. I'm just laying the lace directly on the glue. And ignore the holes. I actually did that with the hot comb. This lace is so thin, y'all. So just be super careful if you do decide to purchase this frontal for me. And then you're just going to do the same thing to the other side. Line it up and press it in. Then you're going to take the edge of a comb and a blow dryer and do the same thing. Then I'm just going to cut the lace. I already cut it on the other side. Now I'm going to go ahead and part out my side part. And then somehow my phone died. I don't know, but 
I couldn't wait for it to cut back on, so I went ahead and rolled the rest of the frontal, and I just had this one left. So, like I said, on the mannequin, you just take the roller and roll it on the outside, and you can do this before bed, and by the morning, you'll have the same results. So. And so for me, like I said, I had the back of the wig in the dryer for about 45 minutes. And then the front of the wig, I probably had on for about two and a half to three hours. Um, and I did put a little heat with the blow dryer on each roller in the front. Um, but by the time I got home, I went ahead and started to roll them down. You're going to unravel it just like so. And you should get a spiral curl just like this. Now you're going to take the curl and stretch it all the way out. And then you're going to take a regular comb and comb out the curl. And while you're combing it out, you're holding the bottom and you're going to stop the comb right before you get to the end. So I'm going to show you what I mean in another one of the curls. And also you want to add a little holding spray to each curl before you comb it out so that it can stay intact. But then you're just going to run your comb through it like so, all the way to the end without combing it out. And that's how you get these beautiful Hollywood glam wand curls that I think are just so gorgeous. And if you really just take your time and roll them nice and neat um, before you go to bed, you can really wake up with a fresh hairdo. My clients usually go home and they put on their flexi rods any kind of way. And so their curls come out looking any kind of way. So I just wanted to put this video out there just to show you guys with a little bit of patience. And if you just slow down a little bit, you can get a salon look with just flexi rods. You don't need any hot tools or anything like that. And you can also do the same thing with like a roller set look. So if you guys want to see me do that, just comment below um, and I will make another video on that. But for now, this is the look that I was going for. Everything is coming out so perfect. Now I will admit, I probably should have did the baby hairs before I rolled it because that was my initial intentions. But it's okay, we're going to make it do what it do. Oh my God, look at those curls. They look so good. All right, and moving right along to the baby hairs. This was just a random freestyle, so it'll be hard for me to talk you through it. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch and I will be right back to put the finishing touches. Um, yeah, girl, you play too much. Cut that off. <laughs> All right, better. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's about it. I'm just going to go ahead and fix this part. And I'm very pleased with how the frontal switch came out. Like I said, I do wish I would have done the baby hairs before I rolled the frontal because I wouldn't have had to pull any of the curls apart. And it would have been a lot more uniform, but I still love these curls. I love my baby hairs. I just love this look in general. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time.